What's up guys, Stacey Irvin Jr. here. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been before, if you're new, make sure to hit subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you know when I'm coming back with a new video. Guys, today we're out here at lovely Lake Eola in Orlando, Florida. The sun is coming up. We're gonna greet the day with a little bit of a stretch, make sure that we're getting loose, ready mentally, physically, and just getting prepared for the day. So I'm gonna take you through a couple of my favorite stretches. Make sure you're getting loose, and then we'll let the day take its course. Let's get into it. All right, now most of the stretches that we'll do this morning will be done on the ground, but first, we wanna make sure that we're getting our lower back loose, our hamstrings engaged, and really just getting prepared before we're getting prepared. So we're gonna start off with a couple of knee hugs, Really loosen up the hamstrings. Get those legs warm. Especially when you're sitting down in a pike position, you wanna have those sit bones underneath you and not pulled back. Sometimes you can wake up with that tight lower back too. So starting with the knee hugs is crucial. Next. Going to loosen up the hips a little bit, some hip circles. Go about four each way. Four. Other way. You should really feel this all over the lower body, especially in the hamstrings when you get to the front. Solid. Shake it out a little bit. Standing in a straddle position, going to reach down to the right. Press down, come up, reach down to the left, come up, keep bouncing between the two, four each. That's two. That's three. One more on each side. And then rest in the middle. Kind of grab your elbows and kind of just sway side to side. Keep that weight on your heels. Solid. It's a good morning stretch. Oh, hey. Do some head rolls. Wake yourself up. Oh, hey. Cool. Last one before we get seated. Standing pike, legs together. Reach down, touch your toes. Or the ground if you can. Maybe you squat down. Maybe you put your hands under your feet and extend your knees if you can. If you tuck your chin, it gets even more intense. There we go, and have a seat. We'll start off with our seated butterfly. I don't know if there's a standing butterfly, so we'll just go. <laughs> Put the flats of your feet together. Uh, wrap your hands around your feet. Pull your chest upright. Side to side lean. Nose and toes, or at least as close as you can get it. Extend and again. Extend and again. And then just kind of work each side. Now in this stretch, you're not really gonna be increasing any type of flexibility with permanence, right? Like we're not specifically training splits or anything. This is more so a stretch you can do to 
to open up your body and really get prepared for movement of any kind. So we got butterfly done. Next we're gonna go to seated pike. Again, make sure that your sit bones are rotated underneath you because if you're back on your hamstrings like this, you won't be able to get as great of a stretch. So hips underneath. We're gonna do a couple of pike bounces, a couple of pulses. Just reach out, grab your feet, come back or grab your shins wherever you're at. And hold this last one. Tuck your chin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shake those legs out. What we want next, we're gonna go ahead separate your legs around maybe 90 or a little bit greater than that. My feet are now off the mat. <laughs> Probably should have had a bigger mat. We're gonna go left, right, left, middle, right, up, right, middle, left, up. A couple of bounces before we go into a static hold for each. Middle, right, up, right, middle, left. Middle, right, up, right, middle, left, up, hold left side. Woo! Good morning. Good morning. Hamstrings feeling it. Reach over. Other side. Same thing. You can try and keep your legs straight. I'm feeling the shakes as I'm doing this, meaning that my body's probably not completely warmed up yet, which makes sense, right? We did just start. And then again, reach over. Breathe. fun part go to center let's see where this is at for me today right now oh if you can if you have the edge of a mat to grab and help pull yourself down that's great could really help extend that stretch for you mm, typically you want to hold these stretches I'd say anywhere in the range of 20 seconds to a minute some of them I've moved past pretty quickly, but the longer you hold that stretch, the more you'll get a release of tension. You can really breathe into the spots that you feel the tension to help yourself progress the stretch. Oh, so we got that. Very good. Next, we're gonna stretch our shoulders out. So, reach back. Fingers facing your body, elbows bent around 90 or as much as you can. We're just gonna sink back into the shoulders. Really work, kind of shake that elbow. Really work that shoulder capsule. Got bugs out here this morning. Sink back into those shoulders. And then next, we're gonna do shoulder extension. Grab the edge of your mat. Try and keep your shoulders shoulder width if you can. If you don't got great shoulder flexibility like myself, shoulders will go out to the side a little bit. But just scoot your butt away. Fingers facing away from your body. And just stretch those shoulders and elbows out. You can rock your knees side to side to increase that stretch. Woo! Next up, we're gonna stretch these wrists out. Okay, how often do we do that? How often do we show the wrists, the hands, some love? 
pretty much all you're doing. You're on, on all fours and you're just kind of moving them around, right? Playing with different hand positions. Just getting those wrists mobile, getting them moving, turning them out, turn them in. Fingers forward, Ooh, a couple of circles in one direction. Don't put too much pressure on them. But enough to get that stretch. Do the same thing with the hands reversed. Open those forearms up. Big time, this is huge when we did gymnastics. Always make sure you hit the wrists. And just as we hit the wrists, we cannot forget the ankles. So we call this toe point stretch. It helps you increase your toe point flexibility. So you're gonna sit back, plug your heels, probably have your hands in front of you. Unless you're super advanced and comfortable with this, you can have your hands behind you. You're gonna put your hands in front, trying to keep your heels together as much as you can and lift your knees off the ground. And then directly from there, we want to stretch out our Achilles. It's kind of in a downward dog position almost. But we're just going to pedal the feet back and forth, trying to get that heel to touch the ground. So we do both at the same time. We get a little bit more pressure off of one at a time. And then lunges. We're gonna do these on both sides. We're gonna go standard lunge. Then we're gonna enter a runner's lunge. And a straight leg lunge. Runner's lunge. Bring your elbow to your heel. Elbow inside of that heel. Let that knee flare out. Something different. And that straight leg lunge. Nose to your knee. I'm gonna need a bigger mat next time. We're not gonna do splits this morning, but we are gonna go into pigeon from there. So turn that knee out. You want to try and get this to be about a 90 degree angle. The closer to 90, the more intense the stretch becomes. You can go all the way down if you so choose. This morning my body kind of wants to stay here and I'll work in this way. really pushing through that hip. Now same thing, same series on the other side. Gotta keep it even, gotta keep it even. So you start with the lunge, standard lunge. I'm gonna focus on pushing in that front heel so you can feel it in your hamstring, your glute back here, kind of in your groin as well. But you also wanna feel pressure in your hip back here so you get that, that push. You get that hip extension, or sorry, that hip flexor stretch here. Big stretch. And don't let this knee over track the front toe. Now we're going to go into runner's lunge. Again, bring that elbow in towards the heel. Let that ankle flare out. Let that knee flare out. Open up that hip. Oh. Straighten that leg out. Straight leg lunge, nose to knee. and enter into Pigeon. Again, you can go all the way down, or you can stay here, I'm gonna stay here. And try and work this hip open a little bit more. You'll notice one side is typically tighter than the other. 
Whose side's more loose than the other? The right side just happens to be more loose. And last but not least, if you're up for it, let's hit a little seal stretch and then we'll go into a bridge. So for seal, just pressing your hips down towards the ground. Ooh, getting that extension on your back. You can go up on either side. Get that side body stretch. And breathing through. On both sides. Sorry, before we go bridge, let's do cat stretch. You can even turn your hands out for a greater shoulder stretch, something different. Push in one side more than the other. All right, and last but not least, let's get a bridge. <sighs> let's get a good morning bridge here. So you're lying flat, trying maybe feet shoulder width or hip width apart. Hands over your head. And press your pelvis toward the sky. <laughs> a little slip, a little slick there. And this part is not required. Well, that's just one way you can get out of this stretch. Trying to shake it out shake it out the sun is up all stretched out and now we're ready to let the day take its course thank you guys for joining me for that stretch as always feel free to subscribe turn on those post notifications so you know when i'm coming back with another video and give this video a thumbs up if you tried this stretch or it gave you some value in any way shape or form as always if you want to support me support the channel feel free to use the links in the description of this video for training nutrition supplementation some gear guys there's a bunch of stuff down there that i use consistently and i know it will provide you with tons of value and change your life if you take it seriously so feel free to check that out and my new app just dropped you can join and train for with me for just one dollar for your first month and guys that is where i will be uploading things like this stretch right so stretch series uh body weight workouts ring workouts a lot of stuff it is just going to be constantly evolving as i will be adding things to that platform at least every two weeks so make sure that you get in with that that's something that you're really going to enjoy guys i promise you that's going to be super fun i'm excited about it again link is in this description so make sure you check that out it's going to be super fun guys that's really it for today guys the sun is up the body is warm i'm ready to get this day going i hope you guys enjoyed this i'll catch you in the next one until then stacy Irvin jr signing off Ride the wave.